going on everybody happy tuesday evening i'm excited because tonight i have new products for you guys new stuff i have never sourced before giving it a shot hopefully you guys have purchased these so you guys can either console me or say why'd you buy that but yeah a couple new things looking at doing uh as well as some kind of cool things i picked up uh and a couple sold today not too much hey margo alicia was first how's it going lizanne four oaks donna diesel adam exploits adam's exploits i should say red Neckerson, michelle how's it going couple sales today not not the best but i'll take five a polo shirt a hat i finally sold my uh, budweiser beer stein so if you guys can find Budweiser beer signs, they are, uh, there's variable prices. I sold mine for 15 bucks. It's a Christmas one. A uh, Scrabble board game from the bins for 16, just a regular Scrabble game. Nothing um, special. And I sold a, a Fuji Tech long extended selfie stick. I got that from Liquidation Lot a long time ago. Ian, how's it going? Going against all the online sales. That's right, against Prime Day. So that's probably why it's a little slow. Uh, I did get one of my recorders to work. So that I put on FBA. Got that up there. No sales today on FBA or uh, Amazon, I should say. But yeah, overall slow day. Looks like uh, Amazon's been humming along, at least for other people. So, Charlotte, what's going on? Liquidation Lounge. All right, so... Enough of what I sold, and it wasn't much. I'm going to show you what I picked up. Now, I'll tell you what I bought it for, what prices are. I've sold one racket before, and the reason I bought this one is you can see it looks like it sat in someone's closet for a long time. It looks like someone played it once because it's kind of scuffed. I always look at the top here for scuffs. Uh, from what I could see, and i got to keep looking it up, but you can see... When you look at rackets, look a lot along the edge here. It'll give you model numbers. Uh, it'll tell you a lot about the racket. Uh, sometimes inside here we'll say things about it. But this is a Wilson Tactical Alloy uh, Fusion X4. Uh, I believe when I looked this up, it was anywhere between 20 and 40 bucks. Could be wrong. I was looking up pretty fast. But yeah, racket's really clean. Uh, also, when you buy rackets, look at the grips. I've sold one for 40 bucks, and the grip was shot. But this one is pristine. It even says Wilson on the leather, as well as the bottom. You can see the W right there, so not too bad. I got this for $2.99. So $2.99 all day, I'll try it. Yeah, check for warping also. That's great, Adam. So, yeah, look along the racket. Make sure it sits flat. Uh, it's not bent in any way. And, again, check the scuffs at the top. A lot of times it has a plastic piece up here to protect, at least the ones I've seen. Uh, so just look for sc uh, scuffing and fraying on the, uh, I forget what this is called, the webbing maybe. So yeah, pick that up, $2.99. Charlotte, so the one I did ship, I sold another racket before. What I do is I basically, I think I took um, my record boxes, again, record boxes. I put one on one side, one on the other, and kind of shaped it. So it's just a big, flat uh, package, really. Uh, and, and I believe, I think, what's the minimum? It's like 84 inches or 70 inches. Don't quote me on it, but uh, I think I ended up shipping it priority for about six or seven bucks. Strings, that's right, Adam. So, yeah, really light, but I'll basically, I just wrap some uh, bubble wrap on it, and I put cardboard around it and tape it up. So took care of that one. Joey, what's going on? Adam Sigurdsson, what's going on? Huh? Thanks for coming. All right, found this one. Not a lot of profit. I checked Amazon, uh, high rank. I am not ungated in it. It is Doc McStuffins operation. Now, I will be lucky if I can get this out of the house without the kids opening, opening it because they did see it. But I did get this for 99 cents. Uh, so, again, board games unopened. I'll take them. 98% of the time, I'll take them. Joey had two sales. Nice. I'm listing some duds locally tonight. And now I have some people meeting me at noon tomorrow. Nice. 
So Tracy's getting the, the slow things listed locally. That's good. Uh, I tend to sell a lot of either the duds through my garage sales or through uh, locally like Tracy's doing. One day I'll be Delaware Adam. <laughs> um, pick this one up. This one was taped. I could not check it. Anything Disney sells pretty well. The only problem is it's taped with packing tape. So I might have to heat it up with a heat gun to make sure it doesn't pull it. Uh, I did get this for 99 cents. So that's a no-brainer. If you if these do not have the parts or complete parts, they do sell uh, singly. So part them out if you have to or save them because I think this is the second one I picked up. I'm back there, so I just got to check it, increase the quantity. We're good to go. For those of you that have uh, are just joining, um, contents on games are usually on the back just to double check or you can go to boardgamegeek.com so those are the two board games i got today darren just finished dinner nice yeah make friends with my in-laws there you go uh so today i spent 30 bucks 30 dollars today uh what did i get let's see board games 99 cents a piece okay so there we go uh, Dymo. I picked up a Dymo. This sells for about 20 bucks. It is a Dymo Letra Tag 2000. I do have to test it. Uh, what's nice is this one has uh, paper in it, so I will test it. I got it for $2.99. Uh, usually these take batteries in the back. And if you can't get them to work, there's usually a uh, Dymo's pretty good if you go on the website. They have instructions of how to fix things. So norm normally it's something easy you have to fix, but there it takes batteries. Darren, thanks for the super chat. Two bucks. Appreciate it. For ASD coming up, guys. ASD is coming up in two weeks. So, yeah, I'll give that a shot. 20 bucks. Uh, they have different colors. This is orange, green. I think they have blue. The only issue is there is a crack right there, which should not hinder performance, but I will disclose in the listing. Alicia has one of those games too. Yeah, there's a couple different um, uh, Disney seen it, so just keep your eye out. Different editions as well as uh, cardboard and tin versions. I say always pick them up uh, depending on what version and what price you can get it for. Four sales and got to drive the boss's Bentley today. Nice, Charlie. That's a double win. What do comps look like on cookbooks? I am not sure. You got them sealed, huh? I'm sure they'll do well. I'd be scared as well driving it. It wasn't mine. Lisa, thanks for the $4.99. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you. Hopefully, some of the stuff I'm showing you tonight helps. Uh, so you don't overlook it. Don't pass it up. Pick it up. Easy flips. Uh, I will keep you updated as this stuff sells. So. Charlotte, I would go high. If those are unopened, if those uh, cookbooks are, um, the ones listed are opened for seven and 15, I'd list it high. Maybe $19.99 or $29.99. $29.99 with best offer. Liquidation Lounge sold a pair of jeans from a liquidation lot. 50 plus shipping. Awesome. They had a manufacturer defect, just measured and put on extra sizes. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, pay for that vacation. That's right. Um, pick this up again brands. I like it. It's not chipped. I, it's only 99 cents Again logos slim Jim and NASCAR Mike Cope 19 1998 NASCAR Bush series rookie slim Jim number 30 and it says slim Jim racing on the back I will probably list this between 20 and 30 with best offer uh, most likely 1999, but I haven't really looked at comps on that one. There's a couple out there, but not with uh, the racing on it, from what I could see. Yeah, Charlotte, definitely try twenty nine ninety nine and give it give it a couple days, a week or two. Uh, Darren, so yeah, Darren has some had uh, some good wins lately with the hats. That's nice. Sold six hats, one Dale Earnhardt diecast car. Yeah, definitely. Darren's been doing well. So if you have hat questions, go ask Darren. Sold a Sony Handycam, 75 bucks. Paid $5. That's great. Yeah, the, a lot of the vintage, uh, at least look them up. Don't just walk by them. They have um, 
the vintage VHS uh, players they put on your shoulder, as well as the little Sony ones that twist. Uh, look those up, especially if you can get um, all the parts with it, the cords, the plugs, everything. So Outdoor Girl, that's great. Sony Handycam, that's a bolo right there. A uh, couple clothing items, and then I'm going to show you what I really took a chance on. Three clothing things I picked up. I really had to search for them, and one was half off, so uh, this was $3.99. Comps aren't too high. I do like the brand, but uh, there is no logo on it. Um, if you find L Russell Athletic, this is, again, the dry power. I've shown you some of these with Ohio University on it. Uh, this one's blank. Just Russell Univers or Russell Athletics, just plain light blue. I will probably list it for 17 bucks. Now I've heard of this brand. This is the one I got for half off. It was Yellow Tag Day, as you can see right here. Uh, but I've heard of the seen these, and it looks like the pre-owned sells for around 26. So that's what I'm gonna list this one for. Uh, cool K U H L. Uh, this is a just a what size is this? I think this was a small, but just plain. Usually, I, I see the ones with pockets on them. So, there you go. And it has the little arm thing. So, give that a shot. There might be some in, imperfections now that I'm holding it up to a light. Looks like there's a hole or two on the back, which is, I say it's okay, but. Yeah, there's a couple holes in the back, so we'll have to deal with that. I will list it as such, but you can see right there. I did not see it in the store. Now that I'm in front of the light, there's a couple holes in it. So maybe a defect is why it was at Goodwill, but I will give it a shot. I'll lower it. Um, I will list it with those holes in the back. That's such a weird question. Oh, yeah, why am I selling it? I never answered the person yet. Um, I have no idea. Why are you selling that shirt? So that caught me off guard. I got that this morning. I'm like, I had to share that with you guys. Why are you selling? Whatever, whoever asked that question. Charlie sold a motherboard, $400, two lenses, 70 a piece, and earbuds, 110. Charlie had a killer day. That's great. Oh, why is that? I had to figure out how to use Hangouts with my YouTube page. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. If, uh, if you can do Hangouts on your phone, Google Hangouts, they have a Google Hangout app. So definitely look that up. This was a cool thing. This was one of my first clothing finds today. It again, Nike Dry Fit. I like the Dry Fits. But this has a logo. Look at that. Duke Blue Devils. I will list this for 27 or 28. Cool logo. It is embroidered. This one has no imperfection in, in it. It looks awesome. It's a size large, but yeah, cool color, simple logos. Looks kind of like the Kansas uh, Jayhawk one polo I got the other night. Yeah, I hate when I get home and I find stuff like that. I'm like, ah, oh, at least I didn't pay full price for it. All right, so these next thing, I looked up. There are three of the same types of items. Uh, I will ship them in tubes. Uh, go on your USPS.com website, order early. Order your regional A's. We always talk about regional A's, regional B's. Uh, start looking at uh, padded flat rates. You're probably doing that as well. But start looking at tubes. They have the triangle-shaped uh, tubes to fit, st fit stuff in. Now, I say that because I just picked these up. I picked up some bats. You can see here, this is a... Uh, now, I am so green in this area, I'm going to have to look this stuff up. Again, with all this stuff, you can see all the markings on it. Flex 65, Easton bat. Uh, there are different sizes of bats. Pay $2.99 for this one. Um, and you can see a lot of times on the butt of the bat, it will have sizes. So this one is a 30 inches. Um, I will, again, I'll have to look up some more, but double check. I picked these up because... Uh, the webbing or the grip is great on them. There is a little scuffing on the tip of it, but which is fine. And here's all your uh, measurements, right? Right there. 30 inches, uh, 20 ounces, 2 and 5 eighths inches barrel diameter. Too light for high school play. 
So definitely read all around the bat. I looked some of these up. This one pre-owned went anywhere from forty to fifty-seven dollars. Uh, so that's why I got this one. Charlotte saying length and drop matter on the bat. Yeah. So Easton, see you, Charlie. Uh, Easton picked it up. Um, what else on here? So I will look up comps. I will take a similar listing. I will make sure to take pictures. I will probably use. 8 to 12 pictures on this just to make sure they see all the scuffs. I will try and uh, get all the dirt off just so it looks a little more presentable. But this one was $2.99. So I will give this a shot. I will let you know how that works out. But yeah, also on the side, not too bad right there, rolling around. So, so I'm going to go for it. Next one. Next one is another Easton bat. This one is the V12. So uh, they are kind of heavy, so they will have to go priority. That's why I ordered these triangle boxes today. I'm hoping they come pretty quickly. Probably not. But again, this is official baseball, optimal hitting zone technology. It's 29 ounces, 32 inches. Again, you look at the butt of the bat. It has the, the inches on it. This one is 32. And this one's great. Look at that. That is nothing. I mean, I say nothing, but it wasn't like the last bat. So this one's a little better than the last one. And again, the grip on it's awesome besides right there. It's not too bad. So definitely pre-owned. I did not specifically look up this one. I just grabbed it after I looked up this one. So I'm guessing anywhere between 30 and 50. Yes, Charlotte, great, great point. Make sure to get all the numbers. Just like clothing, just like stuff with measurements. I always include the numbers if they're printed anywhere on any of the items, serial numbers on your electronics. Make sure to include those in your listing. They only help your case. Shipping. What will shipping cost depending, Adam, where it's going? I'm guessing it could be anywhere between $6 to $15, but they're not too heavy. So I'm guessing two pounds, but we'll see. Uh, this is the third one I got. So this is the last item for the night. I bought every bat off eBay when my boys played baseball. That's like when I'm, my son's playing hockey. I go to play it against sports. I wonder what played against sports would pay. That's true, Adam. I could take that there and give it a shot, uh, but I will definitely look up comps. Uh, I'll probably list them before I check. But again, this is the hammer. This one's a little heavier. This is 32 inches. So these were probably all used by the same person, I'm guessing, because I didn't see these the, the, the day before. Uh, the grip. Looks great. Uh, and this is whatever BESR certified means. 32 inches, 29 ounces, same diameter. And again, it, this one has the model number as well, which you can see there. So not too bad. This one I paid $1.99. The other two were $2.99. Um, so I've never sold bats before. We'll give it a shot. I have sold rackets. Rackets are easy to ship. They just take a while to Frankenbox. My son is starting to watch your show. Nice, Darren. Well, I'll say hi to him. Hopefully, he's doing well in Mercari. Ten cents armor. I'll bring you another hundred. Mike, how's it going? Yeah, the notices are for some reason are not coming out on YouTube. They came out yesterday, and I set it up earlier tonight. Maybe that's why. Diesel sold a new bat for three twenty. Paid two seventy five. Yeah, that's a great point, Mike. If you can find brand new baseball bats. Depending on the brand, when I was quickly looking up that one bat I had, it, it had some pretty high comps. And that was probably a lower end bat, but um, I'm pretty pumped to see what these go for. Get these listed and see how they go. So I wouldn't say a bad day. You know, 30 bucks. I got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, three shirts, 10 bucks plus the glass, 11. So 11 items for 30 bucks. Hopefully a bat's covered. So this we'll say this turn lot is probably one item. Uh, also, just keep you uh, uh, up to date. I did uh, do two best offers on items I'm going to flip on eBay. So I'm waiting for them to come back to me. And I purchased two more. So I have more things coming from eBay. I'm going to flip on Amazon. That's been going pretty well. Um, so besides today, I haven't had any FBA or uh, Merchant Fulfilled sales. But uh, definitely the eBay to Amazon flip's been doing all right. 
So I only earned $10 after it was all said and done. That's all right. $10 is better than negative $10, I'd say. I bought one of my uh, recorders, and I think I'm going to profit like $18 when it's all said and done. But if you can grow your volume, oh, I'm going to drop it. Um, if you can, you know, increase the volume of certain items and profit $10, to $10 10 times a day, that'll pay for itself easily. But it depends how much work you want to put into it and how easy and hard it is it source. And there's a bunch of other things to look at. But hey, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. I'll take it. I lost a dollar on my Play Doh sale last night. Um, all right, guys. That's all I had tonight. Got to box up four things. Great because they're not oversized. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up down below. Yeah, Catherine's not here. Uh, thanks for joining. Hit up Adam's Exploits channel. Give him a sub. Uh, but thanks for joining, guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, try to get some more videos out for you guys. And uh, see you later. Get some listings up. And uh, hopefully get some more sales before the night's over. We'll see you.